Just the basic fact that we're all alive today is something that gets me through all the time. I was born with a heart defect. I had open heart surgery when I was five years old. I was gonna get a dance scholarship, so that was gonna be my thing. I thought once I had my heart surgery, everything was fixed and I would just grow up with a normal heart. My favorite thing about John, he's, um, he's always there for us. I love how much he loves me. He's, yeah, sorry. I drove home with my buddy and I said, I'm gonna marry her. And we're 25 uh, years this year. When John and I were thinking of having children, we went and did genetic testing and talked to cardiologists. They just said, you're fine, it's not genetic. Well, Chance started having symptoms where he'd be running around and he'd pass out. And so we had to do CPR on him a number of times. They had to call in uh, Life Flight and bring him down to the hospital. I was on Highway 78 watching the helicopter go through the sky <laughs> with my son at five o'clock traffic. Oh, it's horrible. Th that doctor came over and looked at the EKG from our room and said, there's an arrhythmia right there, that's a heart kid. And I thought, oh my God, here we go. I've had my pacemaker for a while after my heart stopped four times. And then when we scheduled him for all these workups, I found out I was pregnant with Cadence. And he said, we're gonna have to do a fetal echocardiogram. And I thought, oh boy. And I went into labor at 22 weeks with Cadence and I had to go down to the hospital. Well, the surgeon said, I think we have a chance at saving her, but you have to try to stay pregnant until you're 35 weeks. I had 10 minutes with her and then they took her away to the hospital because she had to go on oxygen and get medicine. And then she went in and it was a really long surgery and they had to keep calling us and telling us, but then they brought her out and it was, it's, it's devastating to see what you see. She had a stroke and a brain bleed. They had to open her chest um, without anesthesia and do heart massage. I felt so bad. And the game plan that they had for her for the three surgeries was very stressful. Just to know that each one would have happen at a certain stage uh, was hard. And you knew you were going to go through it again. And you knew you were going to go through it again. I have a pacemaker in my heart, and left of my heart doesn't work. And at the same time that she was having her second surgery, Chance was scheduled for open heart surgery. So I had two kids going in for open heart around the same time. You know, I had to hand them both over to somebody and say, I hope I see you back. We did genetic testing on everyone, and at that point there wasn't enough evidence or research, so they just said, you're fine, it's not genetic. So we met this fabulous cardiologist. He basically came to us and said, I think you have the genetic defect I've been studying all these years. I felt bad, because this was my, like, my genetic defect that I passed on. He was actually the one who said, I think you need to go get seen by your doctor again. And I went to the um, electrophysiologist, and she said, you need a pacemaker right now, because your heart is not functioning on its own. I didn't really know where she was. I'm scared I'm a loser. Within a few months, I started feeling kind of weird, and I went in for my first appointment, and they said, your heart is being paced 100%. Your, your heart isn't, isn't beating anymore. He also told the kids they need to have pacemakers because they have the same gene. I have to stay calm, so I, wouldn't ha I can't freak out. So I'd, I'd go to my dog, and she'd calm me down. Echo. She is my service dog. My family has three heart patients. We never thought I would be with somebody that had a heart problem. My husband had a heart attack. It was um, a genetic predisposition. Went on a jog, on my daily jog, that I would take my daughter's service dog out. Started getting a little bit lightheaded. Was down, dog was circling me, was barking at the neighbor's house. Got the attention of the man that lived in there. Went to the ER. Uh, they ran some blood tests, put a nice little stint in, 98% blocked Widowmaker. He's been the healthy one, the rock of the family. How is this even happening to us? I have a family still. I couldn't imagine being here right now without a son, without a daughter, without a wife, or my kids growing up without a father. CPR saves lives, <laughs> saves all four of us. We have been blessed with medical care that's beyond amazing. I'm grateful for medication that keeps us alive. My biggest fear for the future is that we won't continue to push medically, technologically. The research that is funded by the American Heart Association keeps our family alive.